Born in November 1935 in Laurel, Mississippi, USA, Diane Ladd is a renowned actress with over 120 acting credits to her name. She was born Rose Diane Ladner and brought up as an only child by her parents, Mary Bernadette and Preston Paul Ladner. Mary was an actress and housewife, whereas Preston worked as a veterinarian, who also sold products for livestock and poultry. Although born in Laurel, while the Ladners were visiting relatives for Thanksgiving, the family lived in the nearby town of Meridian. Some of Diane's famous relatives include the poet Sidney Lanier and the playwright Tennessee Williams. Honoring her mother's wishes, the future star was brought up in the Catholic faith. From 1960 to 1969, Diane was married to fellow actor Bruce Dern, and the couple birthed two daughters named Diane Elizabeth and Laura. The former tragically died when 18 months old, whereas Laura would follow in her parents' footsteps and become an actress. Together, Diane and Laura have co-starred in Rambling Rose, Inland Empire, Wild at Heart, Citizen Ruth, and Enlightened. They also appear together in Alice Doesn't Live Here Anymore and White Lightning when Laura was still a child. From this, we can surmise that Diane was eager to continue the family legacy with her only living child. The cause of Diane and Bruce's divorce remains unclear, but she eventually found love again in 1999 with her second husband, Robert Charles Hunter. Diane was misdiagnosed with pneumonia in 2018. Doctors gave the actress just six to 12 months to live after she inhaled sprays from the neighboring farms around her home, which constricted her esophagus. Laura transferred her mother to another hospital, where she made a full recovery and soon returned to acting. The Chesapeake Shores star has made it clear that she has no intention of retiring anytime soon. In an interview with Closer Weekly, Diane said, Not as long as God lets me breathe and walk, I will never retire until the curtain goes down on this play. Laura has also spoken about the extra precautions the family took to protect Diane throughout the coronavirus pandemic, as the veteran actress was still considered a high-risk individual despite her recovery. In 1971, Diane became a cast member of The Secret Storm, a long-running CBS soap opera in which she played Kitty Styles. Three years later, she had a supporting role in Roman Polanski's Chinatown. Then her portrayal of Flo in the 1974 Alice Doesn't Live Here Anymore earned her an Academy Award nomination for Best Actress in a Supporting Role. Following several relatively minor roles during the 80s, in 1992, Diane appeared in Hold Me, Thrill Me, Kiss Me alongside her mother, Mary. Diane was also nominated for Best Actress in a Supporting Role for her role in Rambling Rose and Wild at Heart in the early 90s. Laura was also nominated for Best Actress for the former movie, making it the first time in Academy Award history that a mother and daughter duo were nominated at the same time in one movie and in the same year. Diane and Laura were also nominated for dual Golden Globe Awards. Before becoming the soap opera powerhouse that we know her as, Diane worked in theater, making her Broadway debut in 1968 in Carry Me Back to Morningside Heights. Eight years later, she received a Drama Desk Award nomination for her starring role in a Texas trilogy, Luann Hampton Laverty Oberland. Diane and her family made history once more in November 2010 when she, Laura, and Bruce received adjoining stars on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Diane is also an author who released her first book, Spiraling Through the School of Life, A Mental, Physical, and Spiritual Discovery, in April 2006. Based on Cheryl Wood's novel series of the same name, Chesapeake Shores is a drama series produced by Borderline Distribution in association with Chesapeake Shores Production, Inc. The series premiere lasted two hours and aired on the Hallmark Channel in August 2016. The main stars of the show are Emily Ullerup, Barbara Naveen, Jesse Metcalf, Andrew Francis, Brandon Penny, Megan Ory, Treat Williams, Lacey J. Maley, and Diane Ladd, who joined as a series regular in 2016. As the showrunner and executive producer during season one and two, John Tinker was an integral part of the series' development before being replaced by scriptwriter Foff Sutton. Jesse Metcalf's departure from the series was announced in March 2021, and his shoes were filled by the actor Robert Buckley, who played Abby's new love interest. The sixth and final season of Chesapeake Shores concluded in October 2022. The premise of the show sees Abby O'Brien Winters return to her hometown of Chesapeake Shores, Maryland, after years of leading a fast-paced lifestyle in New York City. Abby's younger sister, Jess, desperately calls Abby to seek her help in saving her in from foreclosure. Once back in Chesapeake Shores, Abby, who is already juggling a divorce, motherhood, and a demanding career, comes face-to-face -face with her first love, Trace Riley, 
whom she abruptly broke up from over a decade and a half earlier. Troubled family dynamics and seemingly impossible love stories play an important role in the storyline of Chesapeake Shores. At first, Abby views Trace as a nuisance and an obstacle, but further down the line, they become allies. When Abby's estranged mother unexpectedly returns to town after a years-long absence, the fractured O'Brien family is forced to confront various uncomfortable truths. Abby O'Brien is Mick and Megan's eldest daughter. Having left Chesapeake Shores during her adolescence, she found work as a financial analyst in a high-powered New York investment firm and made a new life for herself in the Big Apple, never expecting to return to her sleepy hometown. Coming from a broken home herself, it's perhaps unsurprising that Abby's marriage to Wes Winters, the father of her two daughters, didn't work out. Upon briefly returning to Chesapeake Shores for a weekend visit and helping her younger sister Jess, Abby begins reflecting on her seemingly perfect life. In reality, she's exhausted by the rat race and is seriously considering moving closer to her family. Abby discovers that the situation is much more complicated during an awkward first meeting with her former flame, Trace. She and her workaholic father aren't on the best terms either. However, the brunette beauty is determined to let bygones be bygones and rebuild her relationship with her family. After spending a tranquil summer in Chesapeake Shores, Abby decides to move back to her hometown permanently, bringing her daughters Carrie and Caitlin with her and transferring to her company's Baltimore office. Jess O'Brien is Megan and Mick's fifth child and youngest daughter. A bubbly and energetic character who is always landing herself in hot water, Jess is known for frequently changing jobs, but then relying on Abby to bail her out of numerous crises. When the show begins, Jess has just bought a dilapidated inn that she wishes to transform into a stunning bed and breakfast. Doing so, however, would plunge her into financial disaster as Jess insists on spending money she doesn't have on high-end fixtures and appliances. Despite Abby's guiding presence in Chesapeake Shores, Jess's character must go through a long journey of personal growth if she wants the inn to be successful. She must also put the past behind her and forgive her parents for abandoning her during her childhood years, as they were both focused on their careers and had little time for her. Brie O'Brien is the middle sister and Mick and Megan's third born. A walking contradiction, the exuberant blonde is as neurotic as she is charming and battles with self-esteem and insecurity despite her outward flamboyance. As a playwright, Bree's first work was critically acclaimed, but she suffered the sophomore slump with her latest project and was unable to recreate her first success. With a label of beginner's luck hanging over her head like a bad cloud, Bree is dissatisfied with her professional and personal life as her relationship with a theater director is deeply unhappy one too. The anxious creative, who is also suffering from writer's block, returns home upon receiving news of her grandmother's illness. Brie must later decide if she wishes to stay in Chesapeake Shores for a much-needed mental recharge and, possibly, lifestyle change. Despite enjoying a successful career as a developer and contractor, Mick O'Brien's obsession with work led to his wife, Megan, walking out on him and their family many years ago. Even so, Mick is unrepentant and wouldn't change the past as he considers he was doing his job in providing for his family. Unable to see how his emotional unavailability has affected his children in different ways, Mick is finally forced to face the truth after a tough conversation with Abby. At long last, the old school patriarch realizes that it's time to right his wrongs and be there for his offspring before it's too late. Megan O'Brien is Mick's ex-wife and the controversial matriarch who walked out on the clan when Abby was just 17 years old. When the show begins, she has made a new life for herself in Manhattan, working at a museum. Despite having a relationship with some of her children, Megan is largely estranged from the O'Briens and the rest of the community at Chesapeake Shores, but that all changes when Mick summons her back. It's interesting to note that despite their differences, Megan and Abby are actually very similar characters, as both suddenly left Chesapeake Shores to pursue new beginnings in New York. The mother-daughter duo often butt heads, but will later realize just how alike they really are. Trace Riley is Abby's first love, who left Chesapeake Shores shortly after she did and lived on the road as a musician. At the beginning of season one, Trace has settled down in his hometown again and is working as a contractor while deciding his next move. His first interaction with Abby after so many years is awkward, but with time, they realize that they are still attracted to each other. 
Abby initially plans to return to New York after a few weeks, but when her plans are delayed, Trace makes her wonder if they could rekindle their relationship and go back to how things were. When he and Abby were still just 16 years old, they planned on buying a beach shack in Spirit Cove and renovating it. Trace buys the house for Mick six years before season one, which surprises Abby as she thought her father would never let go of the beach house. Among the secondary characters, Kevin O'Brien is Mick, Megan's second born and the eldest son, and was 15 years old when his parents split. Unlike the rest of the O'Brien siblings, Kevin wasn't as outwardly affected by Megan leaving town, preferring to bottle up his emotions so as not to worry anyone. After 9-11, Kevin packed a suitcase and offered to join Megan in New York as he was worried about her. To date, he and Megan share a close relationship, which is a decidedly sore spot between himself and younger brother Connor. Originally, Kevin planned on studying at med school, but later enlisted in the U.S. Army as he considered it a more noble cause. When the show begins, he has been deployed to Afghanistan three times and is about to deploy for a fourth tour. Connor O'Brien is Megan Megan's fourth child and the youngest son. His nickname since childhood has been Duck, as he was always scared of being hit by a ball, a longtime fear stemming from Connor being accidentally hit in the mouth by a baseball and losing his two front teeth when he was much younger. Ironically, Mick was the one throwing the baseball to show his son that he shouldn't be afraid of getting hit. As a child, Connor had many health issues, such as ear infections, croup, tonsillitis, and impetigo. He is a neurotic individual who forged a strong bond with his grandmother thanks to his illness, as she was the one who took care of him while Megan tended to the other children. Megan is unconsciously jealous of the bond between Connor and his grandmother, whereas he often feels like the odd one out. Thank you for spending some time with us. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpick these videos, which we recommend you watch next. You can talk to us on all social medias or ask a question in the comments below. Thank you for being with us and we'll see you back tomorrow.